Okay. Thank you. Session number three is sticks. Uh, this I wouldn't. Well, you can if you're going on a walk. You can take it with you. But it's, this is more of a session that you can do. And you, all, most of these, I believe, you can do in place or you can do uh, while you're walking, uh, moving forward and backwards. And it's the same thing. You pick your numbers that you would do. Uh, slow, medium, fast forward, slow, medium, fast, fast backwards. Um, and you pick numbers anything from 3 up to 30. Okay? So, first one is open the chest. Think of this stick, stick as mimicking your spine, so it helps with your balance. If it's parallel to your spine, it's straight up and down. If it's perpendicular to your spine, it's perpendicular. So keep the angle. So first one, open the chest. Arms are high the whole time. Go up on my toe, my head follows the stick. So that's done in place, and that is with movement. Just power up on the toe and keep your eyes on the stick. Second one, arms open overhead. So now, there, parallel, here perpendicular, try to keep the perpendicular ground flat. Up on the toe, open the stick. And I can walk into it. All right. Perfect. After, uh, if you did 30, forward, 30 backwards, even a light stick starts to feel heavy. Rotation with the stick on the neck. So I have the stick here, and I'm going to rotate. I can do it in place like that. I can do it in place where I'm taking a step forward and backwards. Weight is always on that front foot, as you can see. That means my right foot was planted, now my left foot is planted. Okay? And if I did it walking, not in place, but moving forward and backwards, make sure you see that front leg takes the weight, always front leg taking the weight. Keep my feet hit with the bars, I don't fall over. So that's the rotation with the stick on the neck. Then you have the rotation with the stick overhead. So again, in place, in place with steps, in place with steps. See so that front foot has the weight, or with the walking. Stability. I'm going to go parallel all the way down behind, other side, down in the front. So you can do so many to one side, slow, medium, fast, or to the other side. Sorry. Slow, medium, fast. Okay. So I'm going one direction, or I'm going in the other. Okay. And I can do it with the walking. Thank you. Next, sweep with a side step. So the stick is making that movement. Okay, I can go up, or I can go either way. So let's say I'm going to move it towards you this way. So I take a step, sweep, take a step, sweep. I go in the same direction, sweep the other way, or sweep one way, sweep the other. Feel, uh, see what feels best, and you can try both times. Then stick on the neck, stop and side bend. So it's, this is really important. You want to be able to hold a stick on your neck and be able to bend over and touch yourself. So you can take so many steps forward. Say, okay, side bend, right, left. A few steps forward, left, right. Okay, and then I would do the same thing back. Left, left, right. Super. Uh, squat with the arms alternating front, overhead, and possibly behind if you feel. So you walk forward or stay in place, and you would put the out front, and now you squat. You can do third squat, you can do a half squat, or you can do a full squat. So you would do whatever squat you want with the arms forward, then you do the same thing with the arms overhead. And same thing with the stick behind you. 
Now we're squat, we call them the action catch. So mostly done in place, but you can move, you hold the stick in front of you. You're looking at your hand behind you. You squat, you come up, you let the stick go, you catch it, you squat, you look behind you. All right? And last one, dance with the stick. This will be the skinniest dance partner you'll ever have. So you hold the stick up there, you come in, you go under one way, drop your partner, <laughs> in and out the other. You do one hand and then you do the other. Okay? Thank you.